Oh yes, and the grown ups too. <laughs> oh. So it hasn't been a fun time per se, is what you're getting at. Um actually it was. It was. Well, uh, I mean, once we got past the uh, watching a bad film can be enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Once we got past grown ups too, everything else was great. <laughs> everything else is just uphill. That's the trick. Start off with the bad ones so that the other ones can look fantastic. Uh, here, here's the thing though. LT thought it. LT thinks it's a classic. I just looked at it and said. <laughs> LT thinks what's a classic? Grown Ups Two. Grown Ups Two. First of all, it's hardly a classic because it's a sequel, and a sequel to yeah. a not well received movie at that. So his definition of classic is a little cloudy. Plus, it's only a few years old. You have to have some time on you before you can be a classic, whether you're good or bad. First off, a classic, ha and also, you're forgetting something, a classic actually has to be good. Well, yes, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to yeah. ignore the superficial here, and just focus on, like, the technicality. I haven't seen Grown Ups 2, I'm assuming it's a boring pile of shit. <laughs> well, there's... I, I, remember, actually, I just need to mention this. I was actually with my mom. Um, we were just like flipping through the TV, and there, we literally saw just one like one minute a one minute scene of um, of Grown Ups Two, and we felt like everything was described to us. I remember there was one commercial that I saw for Grown Ups Two where like there was this subplot where Kevin James was lusting after these teenage girls. And it was funny. Like, they were doing a car wash thing. Kevin James was like, oh, no, they're underage and they're being what? And I, was like, I saw that commercial and I was like, yeah. Nope. Yeah, I saw that, too. That was called Escape from Tomorrow. <laughs> no, but anyway. That happened, to, that happened in Escape from Tomorrow also? Not the car, oh. not the car wash, <laughs> but mostly the fact that the main character is just, so just going around trying to get some tales of some teenage Parisian girls. That doesn't really sound the same. Oh, but, uh, uh, you haven't seen Escape from Tomorrow, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, no, 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 no. Well, I was just joking about the co comedic bit. No, it, it's just a messed up movie. Don't, don't watch it. Oh, God. <laughs> no, but anyways, no. What I was trying to say with that grown-ups thing is, like, we saw this one scene, it was pretty much Kevin James, and he found, he finds his son, like, playing the piano pretty good, and he's just there, Hey, look, my son's a genius, just like his dad! <laughs> and then me and my mom, we just watch it, okay, we're done. Yeah. Like, th th is that the it whole thing? This doesn't sound as offensive as the teenage girl thing, it just kind of sounds stupid. No, that's the th no. I'm not saying that. Like the kind of Homer Simpson sort of generic humor. That no, 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 no. Like I'm not saying for. this was. A I'm not saying that this was uh, offensive. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying you're saying that. I'm just saying oh. it sounds like the less bad Kevin James snippet to come out of that movie. Yeah, it's like, no, like, it's just completely stupid. And we just watched this. It's like, yeah, we're done. No. Like, that, that, that was the whole point. We felt like that scene alone described everything about Grown Ups 2, or maybe the whole Grown Ups franchise. Is there going to be a Grown Ups 3, by the way? I don't know. I, I hope not. They they recently told a joke about that uh, in a, a, a comedy sketch Adam Sandler did with Bob oh, Clark. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say. That was, that's pretty much the best thing Adam Sandler has been in, like, years. Oh my god, that was hilarious. So, you, but here's the thing. Here's exactly what, uh, what's, what the problem is with Grown Ups 2. What was the story? Well, the story was Adam Sandler wanted to go on a vacation with Kevin James, David Spade, and Chris Rock. Wait, did Sandler. they go on a vacation? That's the question. Of course they went on a bloody vacation. It's an Adam Sandler movie. I'm asking James, though. Hold on. Um, I'm sort of trying to figure that out. It looked like they were, uh... It, it looked like they were vacationing in their own house. No, that's um, the thing. I think they just want to hang out. That's it. Like, that's the only time when they can. And the, uh... The problem is... The, the problem with that is... 
the the formula just goes okay gag 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 story tidbit gag 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 story tidbit gag story tidbit story tidbit gag 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 yep sounds like the modern adam sandler film like to a t like i can think of a few others a few other recent adam sandler films that are pretty much that where you i mean you you think that you think that that what you saw was was the worst the movie starts out with Adam Sandler finding out that he has he has a buck in his room, a deer. And when his wife wakes up, I sell him a Hayek. Why? She and was, she was, she was in the first movie, choices, so don't be, be surprised. Here. Because yeah, like, Adam Sa- it's Adam Sandler's movie. Let him live his fantasy. Well, this- we're gonna and, act like Selma Hayek is like on this pedestal of she would never do wrong. Like, come on, guys. Okay, but but she they start screaming with each other, and the you know the the buck starts screaming back, and it rears up on its hind legs, and as soon as it does that, it pisses all over Adam Sandler. I mean, I we're talking. That. It poses him down. You know, this James. Is, this is our opening joke. Our you know, first James, joke. Like, I'll be very honest. That sounds completely stupid. But honestly, I don't care. I I honestly really don't care it's, because it's the only not thing worth I'm worth getting angry over. No. It's really not. The only no because the I'm only not... thing I'm thinking of is that still a better opening than in That's My Boy. <laughs> You gotta admit, I, I, I think deer in, in Adam Sandler's room pissing all over any day than a gro- than this gross thing of of junior high school student having sex with a teacher, like and using that as a joke any day of the week. I just I I don't care about Adam Sandler movies anymore. At, I don't see why at we least should care. That... About them. They- matter they're all the same nothing's going to change from us bitching and honestly i just don't care anymore well, let, let most, make the good thing we could friends. the good thing at we could say is that right that, now oh, sorry at sorry. least with the case of that's my boy it opened up with a gag that was trying to progress the story as terrible as it was oh yeah that's true <laughs> here we have a movie with no story just they had to have a a deer a deer piss all over Adam Sandler, which it, it, even if you think about it in terms of revenge, it's not it, it's not suitable enough. And no, I, I I I refuse to get any more agitated about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I think the one good thing we could say right now is that at least now we don't have to see Adam Sandler films in the theaters anymore since he made that deal with Netflix. Oh, he's going straight to Netflix? Yeah, Netflix. like... Yeah, I think that's we, what it is. is oh, go on. Technically, we never had to see Adam Sandler movies in theaters. Like, we could well, have chosen not to. That's what I did, and I'm happier for it. <laughs> that's no, a good point. I've never seen an Adam Sandler movie in theaters, even the ones that I liked. Like, at least we no longer have the choice anymore. Like, now, like, they're out of the theaters. We well, still and, have a like, choice if you want to see them on Netflix or not. Yeah, but still, like, <laughs> like Netflix, you have tons of other choices. That's the thing. Like, at least it's not, a, like, a major official thing is, is where I'm going at. No, but, like, yeah, definitely. With Adam Sandler, what happened is basically, like, if you remember in the Sony hack, like, the, like those nasty emails about Adam, how they, like, all the Sony employees hate Adam Sandler, and like, I don't know what happened. Like, apparently he hate uh, Adam Sandler hates it at Sony, so like he pretty much left left them for uh, Netflix. Okay, in the interest of fairness, Sony is reputably full of douchebags. That is true. So that we is can't side true. with Adam Sandler just a little bit on that one. Like, like no, 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 no. Me. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not stating like anything bad or good. I'm just stating the facts of what happened. But at least one of the best. 
Yeah. We, we could, if we so desired, pu push this off as like Adam Sandler being a spoiled rich person. Like, like we know he kind of is already, so we could very easily, if we didn't already know that Sony is the kind of company that you could very easily not like doing business with, that we would oh, probably though. make that assumption. Oh, trust me, those leaked emails, man, they we, they gave us a new perspective on them. Especially, like, at least now there are signs that are going to be different, since a lot of the biggest douchebags are pretty much, they pretty much left, like Amy Pascal and, uh, and a few others. Adam Sandler's annual salary, $20 million per movie plus points. His overall net worth right now is $300 million. Netflix? No, I, I oh, think bro. just him. Just him alone. He is worth three hundred million dollars. Okay. But he owns his own his, his own movie that's studio. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like he has Happy Madison. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm holding him for ransom. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, what, James. If you want to see Adam Sandler again, give me all the money. It wouldn't work, would it? No one would give no, you the money. No, nobody would give you the money. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like, I get, from the I get calls from the government. Can you make sure he's never found? And they, like, double the sum. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> nah, but honestly, I still have a bit of a heart for Adam Sandler. I mean, like,. We know he's still capable of doing good things. He yes. just has poor script choices. Yeah. Like, he can't make movies, per se. Like, we just need him to be just an actor. Or, like... I don't know. Like, I, I know... I know for a fact that Adam Sandler himself is a great guy. Like, if you know... If, you, if like... If you want to know him personally, I have a very good feeling he's a really nice guy. Like, you know, he's cool. It's just, like, somehow... It's his movies. It's here's the thing. Everybody does not hate Adam Sandler. We hate Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, but there's some really unpleasant mindsets that get portrayed through some of the movies he makes. Like That's My Boy and like Jack and Jill and I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. I feel like it's not nice people who write things like that. You yeah, know? but it's not Adam Sandler who writes it. He does write some of it. I had to see a... Jack and Jill in the theaters. Thank you very much. Ooh. The only movie that I ever liked that even remotely involved Adam Sandler was Airheads. And that's just because he yeah. got like, abused a lot by Steve Buscemi. Yeah, that's yeah. Certain. Like, yeah. Hit Adam Sandler again, Steve oh, Buscemi. Yeah. Do it for all of us. I, I, I was, that's actually the film I was going to talk about if we did that episode. But uh, I, I've never liked any Adam Sandler movies. Not even, not even the good ones. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Big Daddy. No, I don't like them. I don't care if people like them. I don't like them. I don't like okay. Adam Sandler. Not even the Wedding Singer. Nope. Yeah. Nobody knows. Nope. Hell no to that. Well, okay. <laughs> well, for those of you who wanted the Adam Sandler episode, here's a little snippet of it. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. that's that that story. Oh my god. Oh my god. Set up set up the podcast to do the episode, and I assume it's recording, and I we do the podcast, and afterwards I'm like, shoot, I didn't record anything. Scrap it. And it, it sucks too because no, I know it, it was a it was like, a it was a great episode. It was a... yeah. We, we actually had another guest named Star because it was everybody against her fighting for uh, grown ups because she was the only one who actually not not just like thinks that that's, that's my, boy. my boy was good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, grown ups or that's my boy? That's my boy. His name dropped two Adam Sandler. Movies. He did. It's That's My Boy. We watched That's, That's My Boy, my boy That's my together, boy. and then we talked about it on the supposed oh episode. It was great, but I didn't record any of it whatsoever. So we'll never do an Am Sandler episode. Good. 
just yeah, we already we already did it for you. Yes, we already did that through this mini episode of Cinema Lounge. You're all nice people for it. Mm-hmm. God, all that, all that Adam Sandler talk. Suddenly talking about the Oscars doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> See, there you we go. You, you talk about something more negative and lead up to something that's not so... Somewhat less negative. Yeah, someone Some. not less mer- miserable compared to Adam Sandler films. Although I guess miserable in different ways, so... Yeah. It's, it's a debatable measurement. Indeed. For the record, there's less Adam Sandler movies than there are terrible Oscar years. Yeah. Just saying. Stop! Wait a minute. Fill my cup with some liquor in it. For the record, three or four months from now, when this song, when that song becomes the equivalent of Pharrell Williams is happy and everybody will be sick of it, I will not be sick of it. No, I will never get so. I'll still oh. be like, don't believe me, just watch. I'll be very Forever. Honest, I'm not really sick at, of uh, happy as much as others, honestly. I'm not totally sick of it. I'm not quite like jazzed by it anymore. It's so but good. Uptown Funk, is, Uptown Funk is a much better song in general. Oh yeah, like oh, that, yeah. Was, that, is, like, that is actually really cool. I'm a fan of Bruno Mars. That might be my favorite Bruno Mars song now. <laughs> I genuinely can't think of a good contender for it. Maybe Treasure. Maybe. Yeah. Don't know that one. There's a. Uh, uh, I don't really know much about Bruno it's Mars. It's like his. But... It's the Bruno yeah. Mars song that sounded kind of disco-y. Yeah, Bruno Mars has been doing this like kick of these R&B disco influence songs now. Bruno Mars he, basically like, he's, like pretty much a t- he's pretty much a time traveling musician yep. at this point because yeah, like he's doing songs from like the past. that fit more in that decade. Yep. But now no, it's released in two thousand ten. Yeah. He does songs that are like really jazzy and he does songs that are like, you know uh, I always thought when he first when he first showed up he he really reminded me of a, a young Michael Jackson. And I was going to say that mm. he's actually kind yeah. of turning into Michael Jackson now a bit with his songs. I don't just know. A little bit, just a song. little oh, okay. bit. Not, not, not embracing it or anything. Okay, like he's not turning paler? <laughs> no, he he, really... He's going to stay that, that hue because he had good parents. He doesn't, yeah. dance, a whole, he doesn't dance a whole lot, too. Right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He, he, does, he does this. I know, yeah, the, dance, the dancing and the And he fun. nods his head. He doesn't really dance, which is a quintessential part of your Michael Jackson wannabe. I, I feel, honestly, with Uptown Funk, I feel like it's like a combination of three songs. You got the original Uptown Funk, and then it's Walk the Dinosaur. Yes, and yes, for, yes. Yep. And for any Homestar Runner fans, I just did an example of Come On for ho oh gods there's actually on if you look on YouTube, there's there's a mashup. actually an amazing compilation yeah. of um, Uptown Funk and uh, Come On for Ho Oh Gods. Yeah, there was a mashup of that I noticed. Oh yeah, I can't notice Walk the Dinosaur right away. I was like, wait, that's Walk the Dinosaur. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's what I that's what I do like when I listen to the song. I was like, I'm like Uptown Funk down, do, 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 do. open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. I was like, come. On for oh, oh, God, say come on for oh, oh, God. Everybody, to the limit. Everybody, to the limit. Everybody, come on for oh, God. It's time for a mashup, eh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> All three songs together. What's the third one? I got Walk the Dinosaur, Uptown Funk, and. Come on for oh, oh, God. Um, I'll send you a link. Okay, never no. heard of that one. I'm I haven't heard God. any of these songs that you're talking about. You never. About. You, you don't know Homestar Runner, do you? Um, I think I know of it. Vaguely. Oh my god, that was my... <laughs> I think that those were my... Those were my first favorite internet celebrities. Homestar Runner was my childhood, he says. 
<laughs> in the youth of the, I of the internet. <laughs> before the nerd, before the critic, there was Homestar, Homestar Runner. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember Homestar. Homestar. I remember the uh, the uh, strong bed emails. Oh yeah. What I was first introduced to. I honestly didn't watch internet celebrities before the, that guy with the glasses and the nerd came along. I watched like PMV videos and the odd cute animal. Pretty mm. basic stuff. Not PMV, I'm sorry. Um, AMV? Yeah, AMV. AMVs? Yeah. yeah. Those. Anime music videos? Yeah, mm. that's it. Those are... Those are so much fun. There's some really good ones out there. There's some not so good ones out there, but there's also some really good ones out there. I mm -hmm. think my friend made a My Little Pony one. Actually, it's um, I don't know what I forgot what was, I I forgot the title of the song, but it's the one that goes like, I'll spread my wings and my learn how to fly. I don't want to let it till I touch the sky. I think I vaguely know it. This is Come On For Ho oh Gods. Um, I'll listen to that after the podcast. Wait, I think this is Come... Yeah, this is Come On For Ho oh Gods. And I'll show you the... The mashup of... Uh, Uptown... Uh, for Ho oh Gods. Yeah, because they did a mashup between Uptown Funk and that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I once heard a hilarious mashup of Call Me Maybe and the Circus Afro song from Madagascar 3. <laughs> It was pretty great. Pretty oh my great. god. Oh, and the, the art of mashup is amazing. I, I can, ima I can think... imagine that would really work. Oh my god, like... it did. It matched so well with the music. Hey, I just met you. Da, 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 the circus. No, they, and this is case. The, the circus afro actually, it like replaced the chorus. That was the only difference. It was the Call Me Maybe song. And oh, then the instrumental. Oh, that's the reversal. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of ways to make mashups. There's a shit ton of ways. Uh, how come my mashups never become popular? Well, it's luck. YouTube uh, is all about luck. Some yeah, it's all about the, the the bottle and the lightning in the bottle. Yep. Or maybe I should stop doing songs that were popular 30 years ago. <laughs> that might help. Yeah, yeah that might. You may need to be current, man. You gotta be with the times. Yeah, okay. something like that. All right. I actually did a mashup and James helped. <laughs> I it was noticed that. Yeah. Nope. So that... far, it's nope. actually, so far it's going pretty good. It's like more than four thousand views now. Wow. It's massive. I would love it Indeed. if, like, if I could give it to Disney and it's like I would tell them. Uh, Disney, can you please uh, take this and replace that? Uh, replace your scary frozen fun thing with this. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Cause for the frozen, it's like the freaking that abominable snowman. My God. At least, they, at least they chose a non overplayed song from Frozen. Like it wasn't. Do you want to build a snowman? And it wasn't. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's true. But my ears didn't bleed. But still, the, the choices of characters that they did for that, the abominable snowman, that freaking goat in Big Thunder Mountain, the, mo the mountain, that, that mountain in California Adventure, it's probably one of the very rare instances where Han and Mansion Ghosts are probably the least scariest bit about what's in this commercial. Yeah, I didn't oh, see the Haunted Mansion Ghost. Oh, oh speaking of... Well, it's like they barely appeared. It's like opera singers. It's oh, but like, wait a minute. There, there were, there was that freaky like Tower of Terror like um, uh, condescendence that's just there. I'm dancing through the night. I, I, I thought that was from Haunted Mansion because it no, looked that like was a Tower of Terror. Terror. That was he didn't Tower. look that scary. At least he was a person instead of a creepy animatronic. <laughs> but still, it's like. That's the wrong tone you should go. Like, that, that, that's the kind of tone that fits more in Escape from Tomorrow, actually. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. But then again, I was zoned out by the utter irritation with the 
effect of the frozen be. shit will not stop. Like, make a make a big Hero 6 attraction, for God's sake. You've got a new Disney movie. Yeah. Why is it that he... Why is it that a year after Wreck-It Ralph comes out, you can't buy any Wreck-It Ralph merchandise because it's all full of Frozen stuff, because Frozen is the new movie. And then a year after Frozen, when Big Hero 6 comes out, there's still Frozen stuff everywhere. I got 1.3 billion reasons... Uh, 1.3 billion reasons why. Cut. Ching! 1.3 billion stupid reasons. Billion. 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 Even Dr. Evil is going, damn. <laughs> Not even I'm at... Not even I'm asking for that much. Brilliant. Yes. So done with Frozen. I still, I still like Frozen. Just just let it go. Just let it go. Mm -hmm. I thought Frozen was Not okay, and then six months went by, and then I hated it. Wait, wait, ju guys, just wait until, like... Well, well, wait, Actually, wait after this Friday. Then it'll resume. Bear in mind... Cinderella's coming out no. with Frozen Fever. That was, frozen, oh, that was Frozen Forever. No, it's Frozen Fever, I think. Well, you know what I mean. It's the Frozen short. I, I know. I know what you meant. I let's, let's just mix the two things that Disney's currently doing things that annoy me the most. The live-action adaptations of Disney movies and Frozen. Let's just yep. mash them together. Well, Anything to piss me off. Wait. I say wait ten years until we get, like, a live-action Frozen movie where Hans is the good guy. Uh, and then we're gonna make, and then like we'll get, we'll get um, Sve, um, Kristoff and Sven acting like a bunch of idiots, and then Elsa will be like this insane queen. Absolutely, that sounds like a much better movie. I wish they kept Elsa as a villain; it would have been much more interesting. Well, that Ooh. was because of Let It Go. They had to change that. It would have been a fine sacrifice. I would have been okay with a different song in the name of... You're not... It's just because of the the people... Like, everyone's gone crazy over it. No, it's not. No, it's not. I have legitimate issues with the story and characterization in Frozen. We'll, uh... We'll save that until the yeah, end we'll of the year. Yeah, we'll save that for later, actually. We'll save that for the end still of the year. Still got a podcast to do, actually. It's almost 11. Oh, yeah. It's it, almost it, what, 11. <laughs> wasn't there an Oscar ceremony a couple weeks ago? Yeah, we wasn't that, that? Wasn't that? Yeah, I was just making sure if you guys were. I mean, okay. I know I slept through half of it, but still, <laughs> like maybe half, at least six hours of it. I, you're not the only one. I kind of slept through it too a little bit. <laughs> I'm just watching it. I was just. Oh, <sighs> what? Huh? Huh? Who won? Huh? What did Neil Patrick Harris say? Huh? Okay. Right. Right. What's, in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> All right. All right, gonna... Oh, I so did not. No, nope, I'm going to save that for later. No, nope, you save it. Save it. Save it. Zip it. Save it. So let me start the clock. Just talking about it is making James fall asleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, starting the clock. Let me get my... Don't mind me. Me just multitasking over here. Yeah, don't mind me. I just got an idea for an intro. Wait, ah, crap. I <laughs> hunch. I, d I don't have a hunchback, but still, it's like... You can see that I'm scheming something down there. What are you just doing down there? I'm tying my shoes, what do you think? <laughs> I'm just like, are you... Just go on! Dude, bad, bad boy. I have a dirty mind. Shut up. Oh, look, it's the reader. That movie won an Oscar. No, well, you don't th Don't think of that yet, Mike. Debbie is on vacation. Oh, really? How is Debbie, by the way? Ah, she's doing great. She's doing great. So far, jo so far her job is doing well for her, you know. The excitement is still, is still flaring. God, I miss her so much. And, yeah, I miss her too a bit. <laughs> I do have one good. I do have one good thing to share with you guys. Look what I got this weekend. Hello. Uh, oh. You got a piece oh. of paper. You got the baby. You got baby. Baby. Yep. 
I got the... pictures of my knee of my uh of my new goddaughter. God. God. Mm -hmm. He's the godfather. <laughs> yep. Speaking of so, Oscar winning. So in five years, we're gonna see James in the cornfield running to get her da daughter with an orange on in, in his mouth. Yeah, something like that. seen the godfather oh i've seen the godfather i don't recall an orange in marlon brando's mouth then again again once again i slept through six hours of it so that's right it was a boring as fuck movie i said it i can't unsay it I, i'd rather watch goodfellas five times in a row not taking it back you can't make me i'm not saying anything you're saying that on the internet Yep. A, you it, better run now. You better. I'm not afraid. Bring it on. Bring it on. Go ahead. If, if somebody comes across the video and knows it's a, there'd be a flame war. <laughs> flame you on. Come. You know, gotta come in front of your door. They gonna find you. The only way you'll be safe is is if uh, Fra Francis Ford Coppola's daughter comes in. Well, at least Mike's get, Mike gets it. <laughs> I haven't seen the film either. You haven't seen Godfather? Fudge, Ned. I had to... I, I, had to, I, I know, you said you saw, you hit, you saw it a couple of times in film. I just didn't like it. In college, I know, I know. You said it before. Okay. You, did, you did mention it. You're like, oh, I saw the Godfather... They were, you said, I saw the Godfather Part 2. We were talking about sequels, and... I've never seen Godfather Part 2. I only saw I saw Godfather twice. Oh, that's right. It was ducks. I. Oh, shit. I had to watch it. I had to watch it. And I was like, I don't want to see the sequel because I like staying awake when I watch movies. Do you have to stay awake while you watch movies? Usually. Because I think it. Mike could tell you stories about me. <laughs> yes, yes. Many screenings where we're watching a movie, and all of a sudden. Okay, guys. <laughs> I do think we're going off topic a little too much here. Right. I just hope you remember okay. me saying that incredibly controversial statement. No, no, no. This is making it actually really good short episode, mini of the Cinema Lounge. <laughs> really good stuff. Really good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. It says introduction. Ask Matt. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to ask Matt about um, if you could be any Pokemon, what would you be? Any Pokemon? Any Obviously, po I'd be a Ditto. I could be any Pokemon. Yeah, but then you're just gonna be stuck in the daycare, and they'll just and like your trainer will just send you random Pokemon to do nothing well, but breeding. Trainer, if you think about it, there are a lot of wild dittos. I could just be a wild ditto. I don't need to be tied to no man. <laughs> I don't need no man to train me. I'm already at level 100. I don't need no extra EV training. Today on International Women's Day, the freedom of Since when did you become one of the clumps? <laughs> Today. Mike, why do you think it's pondering? Like, going around you. It's, it's, okay. Piece of oh, paper. Yeah. With punch holes. Any Pokemon, I guess? I don't know. I'll go with Pikachu. I love Pikachu. Just... Where you have to choose the electric type, haven't you? Yeah, I have to. Yeah, I gotta go with electric type. So why don't you pick another electric type Pokemon? 
honest, what other do? It ain't gonna be dark, and I most certainly ain't normal, and I'm alive, so I'm not a ghost. So just take another electric type Pokemon type Pikachu. Yeah. Maybe like Jolteon. Eh. Well, I, I'm no, I'm not picking Pikachu because it's like the obvious choice. I was like, I don't know. No, no, no. I have a personal love. For So yes, if you don't know what's going on on my channel, you may check out my other videos where I do a Pokemon Let's Play featuring Pokemon with the names of my fellow co-hosts. And Matt yes. Brunet is my starter Pokemon, and he's a Jolteon in the game because it's a Pokemon randomizer. What kind of Pokemon uh, was I again? Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, fuck, I, I, can't, so I can't remember that. that name. That was a weird Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, so oh, does that mean I have to change my studio to Electric Jolteon Production? <laughs> my favorite Pokemon, for the record, is Bulbasaur. 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 Right, I know. But I would never want to be a Bulbasaur, because, quite frankly, they have a flower growing on their back. Probably feel weird. Big O. And also, nobody picks them. Even though they're strategically the best option, nobody picks them. That's a lonely existence. Alright. <clears throat> For real this time. Okay. The first two gyms you hit are Pokemons that are weak to grass types, Matt. Yes, strategically it's the best pick. <laughs> and Mount Moon. It's the best pick. Don't fight me on this. I Matt? will not fight anybody over Pokemon. Matt, are you talking right now? Is your mic off? Like, we can't hear shit out of you. Like, nothing. Nothing. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Is he dead? Did, did it die in him? Is it, it's like really quiet. It's like, check your audio settings, dude. Hello? Hello? It might be dying. It might be dying on you. It's like it's slung faded away. Do you have a backup mic or something? Oh, is that where your microphone is? On the little... Yeah, really, yeah. I, had to... I don't know, it says it's fine. It, seems... it, it, it works, but it says it's far away. It sounds like you're like 10,000 miles away from the microphone. You can try turning up the volume. Hold on. Uh, how's this? Whoops. No, nope, that's the nope, wrong one. Hold on. Test. Test. No. Test. See, you don't test. That, Hello? You don't have to be that close. How's this? It's, it's far away. You can, it's very quiet if you're far. So you gotta be like at some level at it. This? Nope. Test. Test. See, your microphone is like a regular microphone. You gotta have that pot filter. Wait. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels a little good about not being the person with the microphone problems for a change? That's good. Not gonna lie, it's, it's a little... Test. Uh, test. Come on, seriously? Okay, Hello, that's a... this is Test. Hi, is Test. Better? Hi, is Test. Better? That is very good, Test. That is better. That is that much better, Test. Better. Okay, good. good test good, approved. Good. Test approved, there you go. Fine, okay, there we go. See? See, now now we can hear everybody perfectly, because people in the comments will be like, I can't hear Adam, my eating in the background. Oh my god, why is Adam in the background? I can't hear anything. <laughs> then again, at least it'll solve the problem that, too, like, a lot of people comment that my voice is too annoying, so that solves that problem. <laughs> So you're taking one for the team. Good for you. All right. Yay. Yeah, thanks. Is that a good thing? Yes. <laughs> to her. Always. Because it needs more screen time for me. <laughs> the real fan favorite. We need to fix this problem, Stan! <laughs> Gross, Scott! <laughs> All right, here we go. 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 Okay. Shake it off. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go.
Are we gonna go? We gonna go right? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Gotta pump up. Gotta pump it up. Gotta pump up the jam. Gotta pump up the jam. Gotta pump up the jam. It doesn't exactly give off a bongo drum sound. Give me a sec. Yeah. Only in cartoons. Okay. Gotta pump up the jam. Let's pump the jam up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's let's start now that the mask on. Sure, let's... Hurry, before he comes back. I'm still here, you know. I can hear everything. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Start the timer.